And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dark is Cur Curtis Thompson, and this is Let's Play Shining in the Darkness. So when we last left off, we went ahead and picked up bronze armor for both the main hero and for Milo. Um, everyone's at level 17, I believe. Yep. So we're all looking really good to tackle the Cave of Truth. But where is it, you might ask? Well, you know that long hallway we they have right here at the beginning? Now it's glowing. Yeah, that's not eerie at all. So let's go ahead and use that brand new Orb of Truth on this thing. And it turns into an eyeball. That is with fists. You got it here first, folks. It's a w grim wall. It's a wall with an eyeball and two fists with mouths inside its hands. Not gonna lie, pretty gruesome. Um, this guy's pretty tough. Let's go ahead and blast it. And we'll do level two freeze on it. For eight points, really. 18 points against the main hero. No, 16 points from the blast spell, 31 points. Let's go ahead and do a round of physical, see how that does. Eight points, about as much as she did with a, with a freeze level two. And that opens up a pathway. That way leads to where we met the first K Kaiser Crab and those pots of fire that led to a red wall that we can't do anything with right now. So this way leads to the Cave of Truth. Which means we're going to be fighting some pretty beefy monsters in this particular section. 100 gold, I'll take it. Kaiser Crabs will be a slightly less frequent and a single Minotaur. Kaiser Crabs will be a slightly less frequent uh, occurrence, but they will still show up as possible random encounters. Grimfowls, lots of Grimfowls. We're not exactly worried about these guys. Even though Pyra and Milo, well, no, Milo managed to take his down. Pyra's still struggling on the offense department, but that's because even the wood staff is not that great of a weapon for her. No damage. Okay, there we go. And the main hero goes up a level. Seven hit points, three IQ points, two speed, one luck, five attack, one defense. So, pretty average. Except for the five defense part. And kill the Hydrax, please. There we go. 71 points for a critical hit with Milo. Very nice. 97 points with a critical hit from the main hero. Nice to see. He should break 100 with his critical hits here soon. There we go. Yeah, we're in that transitory period where it's between um, Cave of Truth monsters and then, or excuse, yeah, Cave of Truth monsters and uh, Cave of Courage monsters. And once again, for those that might have forgotten, because we didn't run into any last time, Minotaurs can hit pretty decently. Well, they used to hit pretty for pretty decent damage, but they cast Quick Level One on each other to increase speed and defense, making them harder to kill. Though Pyra is still taking quite a bit of damage from them. There we go. Oh, whoop, wrong button. There we go. Uh, we do not want to go that way. Yeah, let's check out the Minotaurs. They just make things slightly more annoying. Even though so far these things are only doing one point of damage each to us. To us. Ooh, man, these grim fouls. Pretty tough ball. Pretty tough customers. So really, we have the the defense department pretty well covered. The offense is where we're kind of suffering from a little bit. And we're taken by surprise by a lot of things. Nothing that could really do a whole lot of damage to us, but... They're still just pretty annoying. Um, actually, we'll have Milo and Pyro tag team the Minotaurs. Do a freeze level 2. At this point in the game... It should be pretty frequent that we use our MP to uh, thin out the herd. 
There we go. And it seems kind of kind of hair splitting to do three or two characters to kill three enemies. But eventually we'll be running into enemy enemy groups that are like five, six, seven. Once ran into an enemy group of twelve. I mean, that wasn't that big of a deal because at the time I had a level 3 spell and a level 2 spell to tag team them with, but it wasn't. Toadstools and Hydraxes. Toadstools, they either have a poison powder or a sleep powder. I forget which one, but the Hydraxes are more important anyway because of their paralysis effect. Flex its muscles. That's their defensive action is flexing their muscles so that they can absorb more damage. These guys can be pretty tough too. Sleeping powder, that's what it was. So no one fell asleep? Alright, very nice. I believe this way is the Cave of Truth. Turn tail and ran. I see how it is. Dark Wings. I believe these guys can poison with their melee attacks, so we'll go ahead and take them out. But they're missing. Brand new enemy. Doesn't even impress. That's the that's the power of preparedness. for another 118 experience points there. And freebie on the Minotaurs. Oof. They are pretty tough, though. Even Milo's starting to lag behind, even though he's got his best weapon at the moment. Really? The Grimfowl by itself? Alright. Oh man, this round's going to be a little painful. Not too painful, but if they don't, you know, if they, unless they keep missing. But then, oh, you, Pyra does, takes three points and four points from the Minotaur. Which is to be expected because her armor is not exactly hot at the moment. But unfortunately, that's going to be the case with Pyra for the rest of the game is that she's going to lag behind in the physical defense department. In the magic defense department, she should be taking less damage than everyone else. Cave of Truth. Here we go. There we go. Sea Stallion. This guy can breathe ice. We want to take care of him right away. Uh, does Bolt do anything to you, really? For 16 points. Freezing Blast of Ice. 32, 40, 37, that's a level 3, that's a level 3 freeze. With a follow-up physical attack of 35. This thing is atrocious. We need to heal people. Um, Pyro, can you bolt it again, please? Oh boy, please don't attack the main hero again. Okay, thank you, but he did still hit Milo for 36. Kill it, please. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Already. And that can happen anytime we find still water. Anytime we, can, we find still water, that can happen. Oh, uh, slightly more of a breather. But no damage, okay. And these even the even the dark even these uh dark wings only deal one point of damage each. They can still poison us, but they're still not that big of a threat. And the main hero is still lagging behind in terms of speed. Toadstools, there's a group of six of them. Let's go ahead and blast them out of existence. Uh, I believe Blaze does more damage to them. 
Yeah, because certain enemies do have some form of elemental resistance. Maybe the blaze wasn't a good idea. If they're bare, if it's barely doing double digits to them, blast seems to be doing a bit more damage to them. And they're doing six points of damage each to Pyra. And here comes all the sleeping powder. Milo is fast asleep. Yeah, Milo is still fast asleep. Only one point to the main hero, though. That's good. More sleep. Oh, no, now everyone's asleep. No, except for Pyra. Um, Pyra, could you just... Can you can you just deal with that, please? Let's see if Freeze works better. Only slightly better. Enough to wipe out most of them, though. Oh, one was defending, that's why. Okay. Uh, Pyra, you could probably take them... Oh, only six points for a melee attack. They drop a lot of experience points, but goodness, are they annoying. That's a lot of Dark Wings. Um, they don't deal that much damage, so I guess I'm not that concerned about it. I mean, if they poison someone, it's not like it deals... Yep, there's the poison. It's not like the poison really does anything to people uh, in combat. It's only out of combat where that's an issue. Oh, should have had Pyro attack that one that was already damaged. No, no damage, really? Yes, we know. Milo still has the technically the best defense out of the group, so it makes sense that they're missing him. Alright, so the main hero is Poison. Let's go ahead and detox that. Wow, there are a lot of dark bats in this section. Um, I'm not really that worried. Once again, I'm not really that worried about the poison. So much damage. That pyro hit that one. There we go. Pyro takes two points, okay. Yeah, the encounters are definitely getting more annoying, if not exactly more threatening. Alright, we had ten of these darn things protecting this box. What's in the box? Wisdom Seed. They must have just liked to... Wow, more of these things! They must have really liked to just protect the boxes. Um, bull snouts. I believe they're just an upgrade... And from the previous iteration. And they just deal more damage, I believe. They don't really do anything special. Um, I kind of want to get rid of the poison guys, though. Why isn't Pyra going... Oh, wait, no, Pyra did go first. Okay. They seem to be... The bull snouts seem to be missing, so that's not that big of a deal, really. Let's kill the dark wing. There we go. Are you going to do anything special? Just hit for one point? Okay. I like, as a player, I like seeing that I'm already basically immune to new types of enemies. But, you know, from an entertainment standpoint, I can see how that would be infuriating. Um, we need to kill the toadstools. Because they're just going to be annoying. And already, they're proving it to be annoying. There we go. Four points to Pyra. And here comes all the quicks. Ah, oh, really? He would have died had it not been for that quick spell. Would have died. Alright, take on the next set of toadstools. Oh, come on. Really? Eleven? Oh, because they're, they're defending. Plus the quick. Ah. This is getting tedious. Sleeping powder. Oh, come. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on.
Oh, you really? Really? Alright, try and take these things out, please. Oh, and they become defensive again. Good grief. Can we kill the can we kill the one toadstool and then just rip the Minotaurs apart, please? Thank you. Thank alright, back to progress. Instead of being just delay, delay, delay. Eviscerate the last Minotaur, please. Thank you. I mean, it's worth 200 experience points, but I mean... Alright, 6 hit points for Pyra, 5 magic points, 5 IQ, 4 speed, 3 luck, 2 attack, 3 defense. Blaze to level 3! Absolutely. And nothing down here. Alright. Uh, we're going to come up on a new... It's not really a hazard, so much as just an annoyance. It's a turn style. So when we walk on it... It's basically going to turn you to the path on the left. But there's a treasure chest over here that we want to get. That's guarded by a bunch of dark wings. They must like protecting treasure chests. And that's 67 points from Milo's critical. That's nice. Yeah, it's not so much of a hazard, so much as like an annoyance. It also causes additional encounters to happen, which is whatever. What's in the box? 50 gold. Alright, I'll take it. I won't say no to money. Um, the sleep is more annoying than the poison is. Were they defending? Yes, they were. Yep, they were defending. I hate toadstools. I hate them. Not only do they put your people to sleep, they do this whole defensive thing. So they take even longer to kill. Really? You missed. You missed? Ah, come on. Thank you. Let's clear out. Uh, back to progress. I can imagine these encounters being a lot more difficult if we didn't have the gear that we did, but now it's just annoying. Alright, we're going to see if we can't manipulate this a little bit. We're going to back up into it. There we go. So if you want to go to the right, you just go in backwards. I do not want to risk another Sea Stallion, so we're going to go ahead and manipulate this again. There we go. And there should be a treasure chest down here. Is it guarded by a... Nope, not guarded by a whole bunch of Darkwings this time. Wood... St wood staff? Really? Well, we can sell that for money. We run into trouble, which is only two Darkwings. Please eviscerate them. There we go. There we go. All right, these are Death Grins. They're upgrade from the Clod Hoppers. Same general prin principle: high attack rate, high crit rate. Let's just go ahead and wipe them out. At least, at least Milo is barely managing to keep up with the main hero in terms of damage. There we go. All right, once again, we'll manipulate this. There we go. And on the side block. <laughs> Pretty sure he has high magic defense too, so we'll just have to slam smack into him. And hits Pyra for 10. We may have to heal Pyra here before too long. Especially if we run into another Sea Stallion. Um, actually, how is everyone doing? Only Milo's the one that's not really that hurt. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use some minor healing. There we go. Like, the damage output from most of these monsters isn't something to be worried about. But we do have to worry be worried about anything that might cast magic spells. What am I doing? I need to kill the Darklings. Wings. 
Unfortunately, they're not ducks, otherwise that would be a hilarious metaphor. Okay. More slime- oh, no, not more toadstools, come on. Apparently they can put people to sleep with their magic spell- with their physical attacks. Let's show off Blaze level 3, because I'm just annoyed with them. That's a lot more damage. I'm happy to see that. For 8 MP, it better be good. Kill the Darkwing. Alright, so we got more of this slime stuff here. M might as well see what's down here. Again, I apologize for the sound. No one, no one's happy with us. More toadstools. Do I want to? I totally want to burn more MP on these things. And just to kill one outright with one of these, and then the blast will finish off the rest. I have zero patience for toadstools at this point. Alright, what's in the box? Healer fruit. Um, do I want to discard it? Let's get rid of that wisdom seed. Infinitely more useful. So now we gotta go through more of this goo. Alright, let's continue onward. Um... Over here is a pool of water, okay. Dead end. Death Rattler! I believe they can also poison with their physical attacks, but otherwise they're just, they just hit really hard. And apparently they're pretty tanky. Well, I thought they did a lot of damage, but apparently not. That'll take care of them. Only 50 experience points each. Alright, what's in the box? Deep poison Um... Nah. Lots of death grins. i kind of curious how well they do in regular combat. Let me see. Woo! 37 points of damage. Ow. Missed. Only one point. So really they're only a threat to Pyra. So, that's something to keep in mind. Ooh, 21 point crit. Now, we do need to be careful about these long hallways, because there is a pretty nasty enemy that can pop out of them, if I recall right. Um, let's go ahead and use one of those. And pick up that D poison for no reason whatsoever. Let me see. This way. It's another treasure chest and more toadstools. Um, swiftly, quickly running out of MP here. Let me see if I can't deal with them regularly. Apparently not. Not when they're all defending like this or putting people to sleep. Don't put my people to sleep, please. Thank you. Ah. Alright, well, there's two down. Missed, and another hit. Okay, well. I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Flex its muscles. Well, a defensive. Wow, a defensive action basically cut the hero's attack in half. Alright, what's in the box? Ghosts! Awesome! These ca guys can cast level 1 D-Soul, which can instantly kill one of your party members. They also hit really hard, so... Quick... Can I... S I'm gonna do a level 2 slow on them, just for... Nope. For 41 points!
you... No, you need to heal the hero. Um... Can I put you to sleep, maybe? Nope. Oh, 38 points on the Milo. Thank goodness he could tank it. Another quick on Pyra, please. Um, let's do Blaze level 3 on them. Only 16 points from a Blaze level 3. 35 points. Alright. Um, blast level 2. Um, I'm... These guys are not messing around, so another level 3 blaze. Okay, thank goodness. 160 experience points by themselves. Uh, Milo's hurt. Well, Pyro wasn't even touched. So we're going to go ahead and use a healer fruit on each of them. There we go. There we go. Alright. That was painful. Let's not go through the goo. <clears throat> we know the death grins are at least some form of threat, so... That was rough. At least they didn't decide to cast level 1 diesel and instantly kill someone. Because if anyone is susceptible to diesel, in my experience, it's Milo. Milo, whenever someone casts diesel on Milo, it might as well be guaranteed. Yeah. Diesel in a lot of um, of the Shining Force games isn't that big of a threat. Not really, anyway. But in this game, it's very, very dangerous. And soon enough, we'll be running into hordes of hordes of those enemies that will cast level 1 Diesel, and it's terrifying. Milo went up to level 18. 5 hit points, 5 magic points, 5 IQ, 4 speed, 3 luck, 3 attack, 2 defense... And quick to level 2, so that could affect the whole party. If we run into another ghost, we'll be, be, definitely be using that. With these bull snouts. Of course. <laughs> now they're running away from us. Not like they're doing a whole lot of effective damage anyway. It's just a shame that the, it's only the ghosts that are really a big threat. Kill the death grin. For one point. Man, I feel really bad for these guys. Like, this is probably one of the most efficient runs I've done, but that's because I've been constantly pushing the envelope on it. Um... Death Rattlers don't seem that big of a threat, honestly, so let's go ahead and kill the Toadstool while we can. Nothing. Only one point on the main hero. One point on Milo. Yeah, that... Brand new enemies. Not even a threat. Apparently Pyra is sick of them, though. Maybe she hates snakes. She probably hates snakes. Snakes are awesome. Except when they're trying to kill you. Well, not only is there a bunch of dark wings here, there's also still water in the end. So, I am fully expecting another Sea Stallion. Because Sea Stallions love to pop up when they're low on resources. Alright, get rid of the rest of the dark wings before they poison people. And once again, Milo technically has the highest defense of the rest of the party at the moment. And he finally killed the Death Grin. Yeah, Pyro does not like Death Grins either. Alright. Sea Stallion? Nope. Not this time. Uh, really not. Only worried about the Death Grins, really. Yeah, there's probably... If I recall correctly, there's one more ghost down in this, down in this cave that we need to worry about. Not sure where it is, but I know there's at least one more. Uh, 
I think I got an idea where it might be, but... It's probably around this corner, because there's another treasure ch chest right around this corner. And it would not surprise me if it was another ghost. After all the resources we had to use to... Only a 19-point crit. Alright. Alright, main hero goes up a level. 7 hit points, 3 IQ, 2 speed, 1 luck, 3 attack, 1 defense. That's kind of a poor level. Another ghost? Angel Feather. Uh, I'm okay with that. Which means Pyra really doesn't need to have the MP to get us out of here. We are starting to run low on MP. And that's usually a good time to, to bail out once you reach the Cave of Truth and the Cave of Wisdom. And after that, that's usually a good sign to go ahead and bug out is when you've run out of MP resources. Because eventually these, uh, the healer fruit is just not going to keep up with our healing demands. Eventually Mila will have to take over for that. And man, there's lots of these things down here. Getting a lot of payouts from these fights, though. I'm happy to see that, but... These guys are just being really annoying at the moment. Alright, we're gonna ignore that hallway. See a stallion? Nope. Alright, uh, come up to here. More of these death grins. Ah, Pyra takes a 30 point hit. Gonna need to heal Pyra. Especially if we run into another Sea Stallion. Uh, in fact, uh. Well, we haven't run out of healing items just yet. Okay, um. No ifs, ands, or buts, we gotta do this twice. We're going to come up here. Because this area is just one giant circle. But we kind of need to get down here to get something important. This is not a ghost. It is the false idol. Let's take a look at it. And it's just an idol of some kind. We can't really do anything with it. But it is important for what we need to do. Uh, and we are drained on MP. We got 6 MP left. Might as well use it. To top everyone else off. Because that's all level 1 heal is good for. Alright, let's see if we... Tomb Walkers! They're similar to Hydraxes. In that they can spread a paralyzing powder. And they're... I'm not sure how hard they can hit physically since... We've been shrugging off a lot of damage already. So let's see what happens. I believe they can... Yeah, Paralyzing Powder. Okay, it doesn't affect anyone. We have some uh, smelling salts. But that doesn't mean I like the idea of being against the, up against these guys without any kind of MP to just wipe them off the board. Nine points to Pyro. Well, they found the weak point. They're going to hammer that. Sometimes the enemy AI is cool, is like really stupid. Sometimes it's really smart. Paralyzed? No. Okay. Now we gotta deal with those guys. Let's see how far we can get on with the, with the resource we have left. We have two healing items left, I believe, in our repertoire. Oh, whoop. Kind of hesitant to keep going. And it's another cell. Can't do anything with that right now. More Tomb Walkers. With Sea Stallions lurking around and we're out of MP, I'm really hesitant on, on going forward more. I mean, we have quite a bit of hit points to spare. So, I, I'm okay with, with, with going forward just a little bit more. 
Paralyzing powder, doesn't affect, doesn't affect, doesn't affect, okay, good. Of course, he's being all defensive. That's probably a Sea Stallion right there. Sea Stallion? No. Okay. Sea Stallion? No, something slightly, slight, you know, slightly less bad. At least we get a free attack round on these guys to wipe out half of them. Take out the rest, please. No, don't split your attacks. Ah. And Milo is paralyzed. Just what I was afraid would happen. Now let's take out the threat first. Alright. Uh, go ahead and have the smelling salts on Milo. Alright. That is a dead end. That is not. Okay, th yeah, well, technically it is. Bull Snout's not worried, except Pyra's taking a bunch of damage. I hope there's not another ghost in this particular one. It would not surprise me if there was. Pyra's taking so much damage, and we have no MP to cast quick, so we'd have to be down to physical attacks, which is already not exactly ideal. Oh, really? You guys can heal yourselves? I did not know that. That's kind of cool, and kind of annoying. Alright, just in case, this is another set of ghosts. Ghosts? Yep, thought- ah, jeez. This might end the run, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. Oh, 52 points. Please don't use diesel. Please don't use diesel. Yes, more crits, please. More crits, please. Oh, no! Duh! Grr, Milo! Last attack, too. Killed it. Didn't I say this? This is the second time Milo has died. Now he's... 172 points behind Pyra. Alright, we're not continuing on like this. Alright. We're out of here. Now I gotta bring Milo back to life. And it's based off of his level too, so it's... It's gonna be 360 gold to bring him back, I bet. Yep, 360. Gah! And that's irritating. Man, ugh. Well, at least we killed the darn thing. All right. Um, let's get everyone up to snuff first. Cause, well, at least Milo gets the benefit of a rest now. You'll still notice his MP and HP are completely recharged when being revived. Cool. But I still have to come back and heal the rest of the team. Alright, um, we said mod dues, I believe. And I think that's the last of the ghosts we have to deal with. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and, um, helmets we're good on, shields we're good on, armor we're actually good on, so, mod do for the main hero. Can Milo equip a Madu? I'm pretty sure he can. Yes, he can. Uh, we do not need the bronze shield anymore. 525 only, huh? Alright. So now the hero and Milo are pretty much maxed out on armor at the moment. Yeah, that'll drastically increase their attack and defense. And the hero's still two points behind. Oh, I forgot to sell the D-poison. And the uh, and the extra wood staff. 
might actually be enough to get us the longsword now. Uh, no, we need that. The uh, deep poison we don't need. Wood staff for 570. Let's go ahead and buy. Wow! Wow! I couldn't have done that better had I planned it. Wow! 2530? 2530. I'll take it. And we'll do that on the hero. There's still kind of be quite a bit of beefiness on the uh, in the next in the next couple trials, so we want the heightened attack. No, so we can use the um, we'll sell the sword in order to buy some spare stuff like healing fruit and whatnot. The hero's attack's about to be ridiculous. 134 attack. Absolute ridiculousness. But that also means we're capped on gear at the moment. Now we're pretty much have to rely on anything that drops from the labyrinth or for or as deals. Because right now, everyone has the best gear that they can possibly buy at the moment. Everyone here has the best gear they can possibly buy. We're still holding out on the wood shield for Pyra, so she can equip that and just basically carry it around until the end of time. Because that's the only shield she can use. And uh, there's one more weapon that we're waiting for Pyra to drop as well. And I'm not sure when that will be. And then... Yeah, I think that's it. I think uh, that's pretty much it. Wow, that's all the equipment we can really get for our characters for a while. Um, let's go ahead and... Load up on items again. We need... We... Uh, we need to replace the smelling salts, I believe. Uh, yeah, we need to replace the smelling salt. Do we need to replace an angel feather? Uh, no, we do not need to replace an angel feather. Alright, so the rest is the healer fruit. For the hero, there we go. And one, two, three more for Pirate. Just enough. All right. That'll get us settled up for the next run, actually. Yep. Uh, everyone's inventory is full. We got two angel feathers in case Pyra decides to bite it. We got two smelling salts in case Milo decides to get paralyzed. We got the... I don't know if we'll need the dwarf's key again, but I'd like to hold on to it for now. Um, and we got lots of healer fruit for some of the damage we'll be taking. Because Milo and Pyra's MP pool is still a little low. To really rely exclusively on them for healing at the moment. For right now. Eventually, though... Uh, probably when we get done with all four trials, will we start relying on our casters to cast heals um, instead of the healer fruit? We might keep one on each of the characters, might. Um, but by the by the point we complete all the trials, we should have enough MP to uh, not have to deal with that. Uh, let's go ahead and save it one more time, just to have the save file on hand. Forty-four, eighty-three, forty-eight. 15, 41. So Pyra's about to level up here pretty quick. Especially if each each encounters between like 100 and 150 experience points. Alright, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed what you like, feel free to subscribe. If not, thank you for giving me a shot. And uh, I hope you all have an excellent day. Until then, take care.